Hello everybody, welcome back. Well, the last episode was pretty exciting. In this episode, um, I want to trade some food because what I know now is that food is quite valuable as a resource and I've got lots of it because I'm boosting my farmlands here and I'd, I've taken two, I've taken this farmland here as well that is producing seven food for me now. So I've got so much of it and I don't even need that, you know. Food is a key resource uh, generated by specific buildings such as farms and fisheries. Um, this will reduce military supply recovery for your armies and can cause public order this uh, when it's depleted, okay. Um, so we can try, uh, because I need more money, I want to get my armies bigger here right now um, for the fights that are, await me here. So we have lots of um, enemies here then soon. So Yan Tan is right now my main enemy. And here is another one, I think. So here's Sang Tang. And he seems to be alone, I think. So we're going into this direction here and I need a bit of money. So let's have a look at my di diplomacy there and let's see if we can get someone to trade food with, with us. So Liu Bei is the first one that I go to Welcome negotiate back. because we are on very friendly terms and that means that he's going to be positive about whatever we do here. So um, let's offer him a food trade, but not a 14. Let's say two food for now. Two food and I request a regular payment okay so that's a lot of money already there we get okay so 248 that would sound about right there soon now right 252 proposed to deal very nice. So that's a bit of money there that we get now in addition as well. And let's see what else we can do here. We have Gong Sun Zan. So we actually like him. I think. We could do the same with him. So we could offer him a food trade. Of let's say two food there. And request a regular payment for that. Let's see how high we can get here. Oh, not so high. 130, 130, yeah, let's do that. You are generous after my own okay, so that's four food less, but that shouldn't hit me so hard. And that's a lot of money in the addition there that we get. Let's see what else. I, I still have a lot of items that I don't need. And let's have a look. We have lots of new people here. Um, and most of them are pretty neutral towards us. This one here, Tao Yang Ying, is very positive because we're in a coalition with him. So let's see what we can do with him. Offer food treat. Request a regular payment. And I'm offering him a food trade for that as well. With let's say two. Once more. Oh, but he's not happy with that. So that's even less for the for the food that we trade. But let's give it to him. Because we have too much of that anyway. That's that. Wang Lang. He's south of him, far away from us. Greetings. What shall we talk about? I'm requesting something and I sh I'm trying to give him something. Oh, actually, I don't have that much. A stone monkey. But no, that's not worth much. Okay, so at least we got some money out of that now, and we still have enough food, and it's just for 10 turns, you know, not, not even that long. Right, this turn is over now. Some things are better gained through trade. The Bandit Queen, Seng Jiang, offers us a trade agreement. That's 500. Wait a second, common deals and they give 200. Trade agreement. What what's the what's the, the plot here? She gives us money and she gives us a trade agreement. Yeah, well of course we do that. Our talks have finished. Where is she anyway? Perhaps I should look for that, but it's very hard to see that most of the time. But that's a lot of money coming in there. The look at that. Two thousand. Is to know who you are dealing with. And now we have the the trade agreement. We have that. And we have unlocked the path 
of glory, 6k population growth, public order, and 15% income from peasantry. And we have a new challenge, forge an alliance with any faction. Kong Rong forces alliances with strong warlords. We will need strong allies if we are to recover from the yellow turban blight. Both the Liu and Gong Sun families would be powerful allies. Their strength would be advantageous to both of us and China as a whole. Okay, that's an optional quest. Those, those challenge missions here, they're not required for victory and would give me another path of glory. And A plus for effort. This administrator has passed a governmental test with full marks. Each question was answered fully. Hu Yin. And he gets gained satisfaction and bonus experience. Very nice. So we should actually be able to upgrade him, right? No, he's still rank 1. Okay. Let's get rid of those things here. Character development, yes. Faction developments, all nice. So we got lots of money there. Let's go up here to Yuan Tang. Oh, he's got a lot of uh, um, armies there, actually. Let's go back. I think I will need a second army for that. That looks a lot. Looks like a lot there. Of course, we would could, we could go down there as well. All right, money's looking good. Let's see what could we do with those buildings here. We could upgrade something. We have here in the farm area, we could upgrade. So we could go for 50% food in, uh, production and income. Let's do that. And let's have a look for Taishan. Right, we're still waiting three turns for the city upgrade there. And then we can have another commerce building. And um, what we can also do is get another general. Let's see. So that would be cavalry. So we have ranged and cavalry then. Oh no, actually that's melee. Red seems to be cavalry because all the red ones have cavalry and the green ones. Best used to engage enemy generals, however weaker against units. He's a champion. Champion level 2, that costs the same as level 1. And he's got some troops with him already. So let's confirm him so that we have two here that work together. Under Shi Yi, because he's so successful. Very nice. Um, I think that's it for now. We hmm, okay. Gong Sun Zan is invited to join our coalition. And since I like him, we're going to accept this one. So very nice. So Liu Bei um, is really doing everything here. And... Okay. This is not looking good. So he has two troops here now. And one reinforcement and one deployed. So the other one is coming then later. And we're going to lose. It's a close defeat, so perhaps we can turn it around. Let's do that. Let's have this battle. But we are Fortune severely outnumbered. Us. Let us not squander opportunity. This fight is just beginning. Let us win. We must uproot our Sounds like a plan. Ever they may be. Okay, unfortunately, we don't have a castle as far as I can see that it's farmland, obviously. We do have some higher grounds here that I want to use naturally. So we are going to rush that. Um, quite the army that we have there. Let's see if we can do this. The system says I should I should lose. We'll, we're going to take the cavalry here into the, 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 the woods so we can hide them. But I have more than that. Right, I have... 
some more cavalry there that I'm going to also hide in the woods, I think, so we can use them two times as surprise attacks. Okay, and then I'm going to use my other armies. Up here, actually. Because we want to get up here on the hill and fight from there. That might be a good advantage there. Let's start the battle. And I'm going to move all my armies right up here. Right away. So they're moving now. Quite a lot of them. It's very nice how the performance is. With so many troops here. And here's my cavalry that's hiding now in the forest. He shouldn't be able to see them, so I'm going to rush him when he doesn't expect it. And let's see if we can turn this around. Let's take position up here. Do we have special abilities? I think we do have special abilities somehow, but I can't see them. My cavalry is still waiting. At the ready. To attention, archers. Hurry. Double time. Wait, let's do it like that. Run. Okay. That's going to be something epic there. Let's speed it up a bit because they're still on their way to us. I cannot get there over there, so... Yeah, he's going to come in now with his second. I can't do anything about that, the second army. So they're going to merge. Going to be one big one against mine. And I definitely want to have my infantry here so we can have, we, c we defend our flanks. And our main infantry right in front here. Generals in the back. And my cavalry waiting over there. Ready to strike. Okay, let's let them come first. They're marching. It's a beautiful summer day and lots of blood will flow soon but we have the upper hand here not in numbers though unfortunately and we have no no other way to protect us we could protect here in the forest probably but the hill is better I think it's more steep forests might be an option though too And we're going to say hold position. Is that possible? Toggle the guard mode. Will hold your position and will not pursue disengaged targets. Okay. So his archers are there. That should be easy for my sword, uh, for my cavalry then. To engage them. And now he's marching with the whole fleet, the whole army, not fleet, and still too far away. I can't get over there. There's an invisible wall here. Cannot get any closer. So we are fighting now. We are um, murdering so many people just for some farmlands. Sounds reasonable to me. Our hidden men have been seen! Okay, my cavalry is now over there. They're trying to pursue them, but that doesn't matter. 
We're behind them now. Okay, and then the fighting starts. Oh, wait a second, yeah. And there's the cavalry coming in here. They're trying to fight this like that. Let's get my spearmen there as well. And my cavalry is coming in from behind now. We should have the upper hand because we, we are uh, uphill, but it's too many of them. It's just way too many there. Steal yourself. Do not relent. Run. And from behind comes my cavalry now, so I'm going to say those two rush into them. Those two rush into them. And this cavalry into them. Okay, that should hurt them a bit. That looks good. He still has a lot of units though. And we're rushing right in there and out again. They're still fighting here. Let's get out there. Where's my cavalry over here? Still alive, very nice. Let's rush those archers there. That was deadly. This is actually looking pretty good right now. Let's rush those archers there. He's got his archers like totally unprotected. And I still have my, my generals there that I can use. Let's use them. To hunt them. Very nice. Let's let's get my generals out there. I still have a huge cavalry there, mowing, plowing through their archers there. They're my cavalry now. Right. They're still fighting here. Let's get my general out of there. And they don't have any ammunition anymore, so yeah, let them go into melee. Heat, 
My generals that are on horseback, they can rush. They can rush the archers far away there while my cavalry goes right into that melee from behind. Right, no chance there. Perfect. My cavalry... Oh, they're standing still. They should never stand still. And I'm going to let my generals rush in here from behind. But he still got so many troops. It's amazing how many he has there. Okay, so you still got some infantry over there, and I need to rush my infantry right in that. Oh, my generals. They're on their way again, but this is a close one here. It's still not decided. Very nice. I think we've won, actually. It's only him now. So where's my cavalry? Let's have a look. There they are. Let's collect all of them. Get them out of here. To prepare for another rush. Because those people or those troops there, they're just, you know, running back, but they're going to they're going to come back there. So I'm going to speed the whole thing up a bit now. And we're going to destroy those troops here. Spear guards from behind. They could be very dangerous against my riders. So I can just rush in here. Hopefully they do that, right? Yeah. Okay, he still got his his general there though. But that is one. Very nice. We have made it actually. Let's speed it up so that he dies quicker. And where's my yeah, my hero is there, so he's safe and sound, but look at that battlefield here. That was a hard fight. We lost a lot of units there, but we've defeated this main force. So now we can just... ...go for his main um, city. And for some reasons he doesn't die. You know, it's, it's just him now. Now, now we've won. Very nice. We've hold the, the farmlands. Close victory, but it was a decisive defeat actually that was predicted and we made it to close victory. Perfect. I'm kind of liking the battles. I gotta say that. Very nice. We're going to continue in the next episode and see what the spoils of victory are. Stay tuned.